Okay, so first thing we're going to do is enable editing. Um, now step number three, apply the fade transition with the smooth effect option. Fade with the smooth smoothly. Duration, change duration to a second. Apply to all. Okay. Step number four, apply animation on five slides and change effect options. Start and duration settings as listed in table 3-12. Okay, so slide number two. Text you get only one. Okay, so we've got this selected. We go up to the animation effect will be bounce. And that will occur in entrance, effect options, as one object, after previous duration is two seconds. OK, slide number five. The butterfly image, so we select that. The animation will be grown in turn. Grow in turn. Okay. The effect options is none. We'll do this after previous, and the duration is two seconds. OK, slide number seven, click on graphic. We want to do the swipe. We'll do that from the entrance. OK, effect option from left after previous. And we want this to be two and a half. OK, slide number 11, the text that says make it memorable. We're going to highlight that. We want to do a bounce. OK, as one object after previous. And we want two seconds. OK, slide number 12, the success shape. So this whole thing, we want to grow and grow, shrink. There we go. As it then is going to shrink, the effect option will be both larger. Okay, after previous, and we want two and a half seconds. OK, step number five, prepare speaker notes on two slides. 
Let's go to slide number nine. And let's see. Uh, notes page. Okay, here. Oops, slide number two, actually. That's what we want. I will do nine first. And then I'll go do two since I'm already on slide nine. Use hammer only if it is appropriate and avoid jokes. You could run in potentially offend someone. And humor works best when it with the presentation and seems when it fits the presentation. Ooh, not hits, fits the presentation and seems natural. Okay. Be yourself, be real, make your audience feel comfortable. Choose stories or examples from your own experience. Okay, now let's go back to the normal. We'll go to slide number two, and then we'll do page notes here, and we'll have Never underestimate the importance of a first impression. If possible. Welcome people as they lie for your presentation. Okay. Alright, so go back to normal. Okay, step number six, print note, pages four, slides five, six, seven. So we go to file, print, and print by to seven and we can do notes page. There we go. Okay, you don't have to print it out, but here we've set it up. So that's good enough for now. So let's hide slide eight. Uh, that's step number seven. 
right click, click on hide, hide slide. Step number eight, review the presentation or check animations and check transitions and animations. Select, select the transition tab and deselect on mouse click. Okay, change after to three seconds. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to do everything without us having to interact with it. So now we can just start our presentation from the beginning and let it run through. After every three seconds, it'll go to the next thing. So we can see if all of our effects work OK. Okay, so that looks pretty decent. Use the presenter view, step number nine. Use presenter view to view your presentation. So we want to deselect use timings. Select use presentation, presenter view. Okay, it's already selected. Begin the presentation. Okay, so this goes through, goes through the slides. Get the hint. Uh, let's click on see all slides button. So there's a different way of looking at different themes and slides and stuff. Um, use the presenter view to add so the presenter view. Okay, so you can start inking things up this way. Um, let's look at the notes page and we can start um, picking up things if we want to be professional On slide number four, of course, you can let's see pen with blue ink. So let's get the pen and let's choose blue ink so that way we're doing it the way they want. So there we go, we circled that. Let's go to another page. We can use the page down button to move to another page. It's page four. We can draw a rectangle around the words eye contact. OK, 
Okay, and smile. Okay. And only the present presenter will see this. Uh, this won't show up on the screen that everybody else looks at. Slide seven, let's page down there until we get to page seven. And then we will circle the words avoid monotone. So go back up to pen. Let's choose a certain color. Let's try blue again. It's a circle. Okay. And on slide 10, I want to circle end of time. So pen. And circle this. Okay. Click keep. And we can say on uh, stop. Okay. All right. That's it.